Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Enrico Hercheck from Fincana Capital. How are you? I'm doing great, Tracy. Thank you. And yourself? Well, I'm so grateful for this opportunity for having had a conversation prior to this interview because I was thinking your royalty model is really set up to help a lot of companies in the future. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're, we're designed to be profitable. Uh, unlike a lot of companies in our sector, the cannabis sector, who raise hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, you know, they're losing money quarter over quarter, very capital intensive. Uh, we're the opposite. You know, we're low capital costs, low operating costs, and we're designed to be profitable out of the gate. And also, it seems very nice for the initial investors in that you're not diluting the shares of the company. Uh, oh, that's absolutely right. I mean, once we start getting into revenues and profits, uh, then we continue to grow our portfolio and our treasury and, uh, and expand our portfolio of, of new royalty investments. Well, I know there's a lot of investors out there that have a lot of questions, so thank you so much for joining us today. So I'm going to start with the, the cannabis market in general has had a lot of negative PR, simply, I think, from uh, uh, shareholders, perhaps, who saw uh, unreal markets last year. But there's a real marketplace out there, and so why don't we just start with how your companies are faring? Sure. So we've invested in three companies that are active. Um, you know, two are in co-manufacturing, uh, and one is in software compliance. Uh, they're based in California. Uh, you know, we've heard a lot about COVID recently, uh, COVID-19, and it's you know, clearly had a, you know, an impact on California. Uh, but one thing about the cannabis sector, it's been designated as an essential service. Um, so although we're certainly experiencing some delays, but you know, we're very fortunate to be a protected industry uh, in California. Well, obviously, you're building a lot of trust in the investment community. You just closed a $2.5 million convertible debenture. Would you like to talk to us a little bit about the highlights from that deal? Sure. So this closed, uh, we announced this in July. Uh, there's really three parts to this convertible debenture. So we had an existing debenture uh, that was going to mature in January, February of this uh, 2021. So first thing we did is we extended the term of that, the maturity date, by two extra years. So now we have two and a half years to either pay it back or have it convert. The second part of this, uh, the big news, was that we reduced the, the exercise price or the conversion price from 20 cents down to 15 cents. You know, we traded close to 11 and a half cents, uh, 11 and a half or 12 cents recently. So, you know, we have two and a half years to hit that 15 cent mark, which, uh, you know, we believe we're definitely going to do. Um, and so thereby, we definitely you know, reduced the balance sheet risk of the company. And finally, you know, we raised an extra two and a half million dollars in the convertible venture on the exact same terms as the existing. Uh, and of the two and a half million, half a million of that came from management. So myself and the CFO put up you know, half a million dollars of our own money because we clearly believe in this company. So. Well, this morning, uh, we have a lot of contradictory data that's going out there. Uh, we were, the headlines indicated this is the fastest bounce back from a bear market in the history of the capital markets. So because, of course, you not only put your own money into this company, can you talk about some of the competitive advantages about why an investor would select your shares or your stock and pick Fincana Capital over everybody else? Yeah, you know, that's a great question. And, you know, clearly what we like a, a lot about our company and the royalty model is that and I should notice that we're the only pure royalty company in the cannabis sector is once again, we're designed to be profitable. We don't need much revenue to be profitable. We've got three companies that are in operation. Our largest investment just started operations right now and is scaling up. And you know, we're very excited about where we're heading right now. So. Okay, and your largest operation that you've invested in is would that be the QVI cannabis facility Correct. that you're referencing? Okay, Correct. well, I, we are actually quite interested. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so QVI, which is uh, you know they're operating as a galley. They're located in Sonoma County, California, which is you know geographically you couldn't ask for a better better location. You know between the Emerald Triangle and the San Francisco Bay Area, it's also one of the lowest tax jurisdictions in the whole state of California. Uh, they're offering a co-manufacturing co edibles facility, large scale. They can produce essentially any type of edible under one roof. Uh, demand is off the chart for them right now. They're talking to moms and pops. They're talking to a large, one of the largest brands in California. Uh, and as the, the CEO of, of QVI says, you know, no one wants to produce their own edibles anymore. They want to focus on what they're good at is brand awareness, and they want us to do it for them. We're expecting big things from them. 
you know, they're in startup phase right now, uh, but demand is off the charts and we, we're expecting to have a very successful investment in them. As an investment banker, I was enjoying preparing for this interview, and, I, and the model is just so clean and intriguing. If I'm a private company, because it's private companies that you're seeking, is that correct? Are you looking to make any more investments right now, or are you just focused on the three that you have invested in thus far? Yes, and as far as expanding our, our royalty portfolio goes, you know, we have a very strong treasury right now. Uh, but we are focused solely on our three existing investments for them to get up and running, not just from up and running, but from you know operational success where we're getting monthly royalties and our cash flow positive, building up our treasury. And at that point, then we will definitely be looking to expand our portfolio. There's no shortage of great deals out there right now. So great this companies is that kind need of a capital. contemporary we're and ready modernized index on some levels. Am I stepping out a, a, a turn here? Because it allows an investor who wants to get involved in the market to trust the management team you have to select companies for them and they're offered a portfolio versus just investing in one company. Tracy, you're absolutely right. Uh, and, you know, unlike an index, you know, the companies that we invest in, they're actually synergistic. You know, they call each other sister companies. They're working together to expand their customer base, to market together. So you're inv investing in you know, different companies that don't compete against each other, but actually work with each other to maximize their revenues. So yes, an index that works together. We have been uh, following the fund manager, Henry Weingarten, and his Aust astrologers fund. He told me this morning that Trump is going to win, but he wasn't confident enough not to talk about what would happen if Biden did. He seems to think that there will be a rush to cannabis stocks. <laughs> Should Biden win? Do you have any comments on that, or would you like to stay out of political questions? Well, you know, I can talk about what I've read as well. And Canaccord Genuity, which is one of the largest investment banks in the cannabis sector, uh, one of their analysts had a report that came out a couple of weeks ago that said uh, their, their U.S. index fund has actually outperformed their Canadian fund for four months in a row. Uh, in July, I think it was up like 30 some odd percent. And they attributed that, that was not me, they attributed that to Joe Biden's remarks that if he wins, he will sign executive orders that will not necessarily legalize, but, you know, would deschedule cannabis, which would have a very positive effect on the industry. But regardless who wins, um, I think that, you know, cannabis, you know, the governments are desperate for revenues um, and cannabis is primed for, you know, for taxation and for path towards legalization. Really appreciate your time. That was a very, very insightful commentary uh, to my last question. And finally, for an interested investor or a current shareholder, can you give us any tidbits about what we should anticipate in the next upcoming quarter? Yeah, so we're very excited about the upcoming quarter. So first of all, it's harvest season. So for CTI, this is where they have you know, the highest revenues of the year, uh, which is great for our revenues. Um, and then secondly, with QVI, you know, they're in startup phase. Startup companies take time, but the demand that they're experiencing is off the chart uh, from big brands to small mom and pops. Uh, they're looking to expand their footprint and expand in California. And they're looking to QVI really to be their co-manufacturer and their co-partners. Um, you know, once they start scaling up and these revenues are sticky because it doesn't take, once they have customers on, they're not easy to, to you know, not quick to leave. Um, we're expecting QVI to be a very, very strong player in this industry, uh, and we're looking forward to that starting to ramp up this fall. Well, Andrico, I don't know if they would be willing, but could we potentially do an interview with you next round where we have the head of QVI as well with you? Oh, absolutely. Uh, and uh, the CEO of QVI, she's, uh, she's a great leader, been in the industry for a very long time, and uh, you know, she's one of the reasons why we invested so heavily in this company. Okay, well, we would love to do that. Thank you so much for your time and providing us with an update for Fincana Capital. Tracy, thank you so much. Really appreciate it.